Welcome to the Friday, June 14th episode of Stacks on Deck. I'm your host, Walter, and this is Brave Birds DFS. It's one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course, DFS. All right, we have a very interesting 12-game slate tonight. We have some weather concerns for the first time in a while, so let's just jump into my checklist. The first thing we look at every day is how things went the previous day. I'm going to talk about my rainout concerns, and then we're going to look at top stacks, top pitchers, top hitters, and then I'm going to do a DFS k stack bill for you so looking back at yesterday's evening slate you got the bag in the overdraft the diamondbacks i recommended them they were one of my top five slates they went out there and got 11 runs and that's just dfs for you because the day before that they made my overdraft so really when it comes to dfs don't get too high or too low you're in it for the long run next you have the red sox who scored nine runs on the phillies and then you had crochet who had 37.35 fantasy points but it was not all good. My apologies. I recommended NOLA and that was probably the worst recommendation I had since I was 19 years old. And I said, hmm, maybe you should work at Enron to a friend of mine. So NOLA went out there and got negative 11.55 points. I mean, I don't, that might be the worst fantasy point total I've ever seen. I'm sure there's been worse. Uh, Dodgers scored one run. And Torrens, I didn't recommend Torrens, but uh, apparently he was hot yesterday because his ownership was over 20% and he went out and got zero fantasy points. All right, so I have some serious rainout concerns. So I have my elevated concerns. That's uh, Philly going to Baltimore and Pittsburgh going to Colorado. So I mean, these elevated concern games are so tricky because a majority of the time, I don't know how it works out like this, the <laughs> they're either it's the winning stack or um, players from this lineup make it into the winning lineup. So this is really a risk thing. I If I'm saying elevated concerns, that means I believe the game will probably finish. But for both of these games, because there's severe weather and thunderstorms it's not like it's showery like it could be something where they decide you know what we're just going to throw in the towel the one thing i will say for both of these games these are teams that don't play each other as often so i feel like this is why i'm keeping them elevated concerns i feel like they're going to try really hard to to complete these games but at the same time they might just you know have the game in after seven innings so elevated concerns just depends on your risk level but rain out likely for san diego going to the mets and this is unfortunate because on my next slide i believe the padres are the top stack so how big are your stones how big is your risk you know assessment because if you believe if you got some data that says that the the padres and mets are actually going to play i love the padres in this position what i'm going to do today though i'm going to do a white Sox stack because i don't have any hope <laughs> i don't have a lot of hope in that game and then the twins are my third favorite stack followed by the diamondbacks and then you have the angels so my top pitchers all right let's talk about this on paper chris sale is the most shock most slam dunk <laughs> pitcher i've seen in a very long time uh he was the pitcher of the month last month you know he had that one bad start uh, one of the best pitchers in baseball, playing on one of the best teams in baseball, playing at home, playing a team that is batting under 200 in the last 15 games, not slugging or anything. So part of me says you should just, you know, pivot away from him. But the part of me that just looks at numbers and just looks at baseball says that, you know, sale is almost a must start. That's how sweet this matchup is. Let's see what happens. And then I like Woods Richardson at 7,500. And I like Andrew Henley, sorry, Henny at $7,000 for those salary savings if you go with sale or other people. All right, so top hitters, I am not going, I'm not going to pivot off of Correa. Been batting well over 500 uh, in the last seven to 10 games. OPS over 1,000. Salary still only 4,300 at shortstop. I like Candelario coming off of his two home run game, 4,200 at third base. And Fernando Tatis, he kind of hurt a lot of people. I know a lot of us play beat the streak on uh, MLB and he had been, you know, 
He had been chalk. He had just been like a, a automatic, you know, that little the automatic space in bingo. But he finally ended his hitting streak. But I still like him at 5,800 playing in the outfield for the Padres. All right, so let's move over to DraftKings and let's look at what a White Sox stack looks like. I know you're like, White Sox stack? The White Sox have been hitting much better. We have uh, Robert, who Robert Jr., who um, he's had three hits in the past five games and all of those hits have been home runs. Uh, I mentioned, I recommended Vaughn a few days ago. He's been playing really well, multi-hit games in three out of the last five games, including uh, two home runs. We have DeJong. I think I recommended him yesterday. He didn't get a hit, but he's had two multi-hit games, and in both of those games, he's had a home run. Plus, he has 13 home runs on the year. And then if Lee is starting at catcher, five home runs, 16 RBI, a hit in three out of the last five games, including a three-hit game recently so let me know your thoughts feel free to leave any comments but otherwise go out there and win that guap